Today we're going to review how to multiply mixed numbers. Okay, there are going to be lots of small steps in this lesson, so please make sure you take your time and you're showing your work for each step. In order to multiply mixed numbers, I do need to know two other skills before I can do that. First skill being taking a mixed number and making it into an improper fraction. So if I have 9 and 5 sevenths to convert that to an improper fraction, I take 9 times my denominator 7. 9 times 7 would be 63. And then I add that to my original top number, so 5. So 63, what I got when I multiplied, is added to the 5, which gives me a new total of 68 and then my denominator will stay the same. So 9 and 5 sevenths is equal to 68 total sevenths. Okay, we also need to then be able to go back from our improper fraction to a mixed number. And to do that, we are going to divide. Okay, the numerator goes inside, the denominator goes outside, and we want to think about 7 times what will get me close to 33. And so thinking about your multiplication facts, and we know 7 times 4 would be 28, 7 times 5 would be 35, so 5 groups is too much. So we could make 4 groups, 7 times 4 would be subtracted, 33 take away 28, let's regroup, and we are left with 5 left over. So taking this back to a mixed number, 4 the number on top is the whole number, and then we have 5 sevenths. So we're going to take those skills and help us use that to now be able to multiply mixed numbers. So I have 8 times 2 and 5 ninths. The first thing I want to point out to you is that 8 is a whole number, so we can just put it over 1. In order to multiply, I'm going to convert 2 and 5 ninths into an improper fraction first. Okay, this is a step you cannot forget to do, and you cannot get the correct answer without doing this. So 2 times 9 would give me 18. That gets added to the 5 I already have. Okay, so 2 and 5 ninths becomes 23 ninths. Okay, and now we can just treat this like a regular fraction multiplication problem. So we're going to do numerator times numerator, numerator times numerator, and your denominator times denominator. The 1 times 9 there is 9, and then 23 times 8. Okay, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 more is 18. I want you to try doing this without a calculator, but then of course you can go back and check your work using a calculator. Okay, so when I multiply those two, I end up with 184 over 9. Right, so now that I have an improper fraction, my last step is I need to convert that back to a mixed number to have a simplified answer. And so to do that, 9, the denominator is outside, Okay, and so we're going to go back to our division steps. Okay, so I want 9 can't go into 1. 9 goes into 18 two times. 9 times 2 gets subtracted. And we can see on this one, 9 can't go into 4. That zero placeholder is really important. And so back to a simplified answer, 20 is the whole number with four ninths 
left over. Okay, I'm going to walk you through one more. On this one, I have two mixed numbers. So again, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have these as improper fractions first. So, 5 times 3 is 15. That gets added to the 1. So 15 plus 1 is 16 with the denominator staying the same. Repeating those steps, 3 times 9 is 27. 27 gets added to the original 4. So we have 31 with the denominator not changing. Okay, so again, now I have two fractions. I just multiply across. Okay, I do know 3 times 9 is 27. And I will do 31 times 16. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 3 with nothing left there, so I can put both the 1 and the 8 down. 0 placeholder. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3, and I'll add those together. Alright, so I have my final answer, but then I do again want to go and simplify this. Okay, so when we start dealing with larger numbers, the simplifying step does get a little bit more challenging because we're going to be dividing by 27. So I encourage you to, to list out some of those multiplication facts. So 27 times 2 would be 54. Again, I want to see you trying to do these steps, but you can always check your work with a calculator. So 27 times 3 is 81. 27 times 4, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Okay, again, I'm just doing this because it makes it a little bit easier to figure out what am I dividing by. Okay, I'm going to stop there for now and use what that to guide me through. So I first try to divide 27 into 4, which I cannot do. And so now dividing 27 into 49. Okay, it can't even go in twice, not enough there, so I can only make one group. Subtracting 1 times 27. 22 left over, bring down that 6. Okay, so I don't quite have enough multiples listed out because I have to get all the way to 226. So let's continue with 27 times 6. And again, I'm going to keep going until I get close to 226. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4, 16, 27 times, I'm going to skip up to 8. 8 times 7 is 56, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 5 more is 21. So last step, let's see if I can make 9 groups. 9 times 7 is 63, 9 times 2 is 18, plus 6. Okay, so I don't have enough to make 9 groups because I would need 243. So I can make 8 groups. I've already done my multiplication step out, so 27 times 8 is 216. Okay, with 10 being my remainder because there's nothing left to bring down. So all of that work gets me to my final answer of 18 is the whole number and then 10. My denominator comes from what did I divide by? So 10 27. Again, there's lots of small steps to a problem like this. 
Hey, take your time and show your work. Good luck.